YouTube, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing something kind of exciting. <laughs> I'm gonna be attempting to color my own hair using this IGK color in shade Latte. This is a permanent color kit in dark natural blonde. I love the name Latte, the shade color that they chose. Definitely drew me to it. But I also kind of wanted to do like an all over same color for my hair. I do use the glaze that I reviewed in a few videos back. I'll try to link it right here if I don't forget. And that is nice. It's like a leave-in, semi-permanent color depositing conditioner of sorts, but it only lasts, I would say, probably two, three washes, and then my hair, like my blonde, starts peeping through. It's very semi-permanent, like it washes out pretty quickly, so I wanted something a little bit more permanent, so I'm gonna try coloring my hair today. And I'm not new to coloring my hair when I was like, 15, 16, 14, maybe 14, maybe not. I used to color my own hair all the time using box colors. I even like did my own highlights at one point using bleach and developer and all this stuff, which I know a lot of people will say like, oh, box color, no. I get it, I totally get it, but I feel like box color, some formulas might have come a long way. And since we travel a lot, like right now we're still visiting family, but we are constantly traveling, so might as well learn to color my own hair. I know a lot of people do it at home, without an issue, and that's what we're gonna try to do today. Might not be for everyone, this is not really like a tutorial, this is more so just kinda like reviewing the shade Latte from IGK, seeing how it works, and I don't know, just kinda like a fun video. I like sharing things that I do, DIY things that I do here and there, so that's what we're gonna be doing. I'm also gonna be coloring some tape and extensions as well, because these are more of like a lighter brown, brown, if you will, and I want them to match when I put them in, but that, I'm just going to color them in today and then putting them in, I'm going to do in a separate video. Um, I'm trying to see if there's like anything else that I missed that I want to say. Also, I wanted to point these guys out right here. It looks like I have antlers. Someone reached out to me and said that it looks like I, they thought that this was antlers at first and now they couldn't unsee it, and I started cracking up because now I can't unsee it either. Every time I look at the viewfinder and I see these guys right here, <laughs> that's like all I can think of, and now that I said that publicly, everybody's probably going to be like, oh yeah, it does. So, Merry Christmas, Dasher and Dancer. But anyway, back to the coloring. I have some tape and glue in my hair. I just took out the tape ins, but I took them out because I wanted to color my natural hair first so that it is like all even without tapins in, and then color the tapins separately. And then I also got some single sided tape on Amazon, which I never knew about until a few people commented on a video saying I should try single sided tape for fine hair. So instead of like sandwiching two tapins together, it's just one and it's a lot less weight and fine thin hair. So this is why I love when people kind of like share different things in comments because the things that you learn sometimes is pretty awesome. But this is like two, maybe even third day hair. I was debating whether I wanted to wash it, but I kind of wanted to keep some of the oils in my hair. So my hair is a little bit oilier than I would like for it to be. I have this rat tail comb of sorts, which I'm going to use to divide my hair into four sections. I only have two clips, which I think I'll be fine with because I really don't have a lot of hair. I have naturally very fine thin hair, as you can tell, especially when it looks greasy. It just looks very fine and thin, but that's okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and separate my hair into four sections. I'm not a professional, so if somebody's watching this and thinking, what are you doing? We are winging it, and I'm gonna separate my hair into four sections, all the way down in half, like so. And then we are going to separate these two sections into two sections in half, kind of like where the ear is. I'm just trying to look in the mirror here so I can see what I'm doing, kind of like so. Let me just clip these so that they don't interfere with the back sections. Something like that. So you have one, two, three, four, like four quadrants, if you will. Now opening this box, the instructions are inside of the box, meaning they are the box. So when you open it, you have your products right here in the middle. And then all the instructions right here. Super easy to follow. I would say I watched a few videos and it just seemed very simple. And this is what you're going to get. You have a Protect Barrier Gel, Color Block Protect Barrier Gel, which I'm going to apply like around the hairline, the ears, the nape of the neck, just to make sure I don't, you know, get color on there and it stains my skin. And I'm also wearing my husband's shirt <laughs> just because you never know. You have the color Rich Cream Pigment right here. And again, I have the shade Latte, love that name. And this you are going to mix with their activator, which is right here. These two you're gonna mix, mix together. You're gonna dump this in here, shake, shake, shake. 
and it has a little nozzle making it easy to apply. You have gloves, some gloves, a post-color treatment mask, which is always a good thing, and a stain removing cleanser. So like after, if you get any stain, uh, stains your skin or anything, you have that as well. So you protect, color, activate, and treat. Seems a very simple, oh, and then erase. So five steps tells you what to do before you begin, all that good stuff. I got it on Amazon, by the way, and online they do have kind of like a before and after. So if your hair is this shade before, this is what it's going to look like. So first things first, we are going to protect. got my gloves on. I'm going to apply some of this protect gel. I'm going to apply it all over the hairline. When I used to get my hair done by Julie, my hair girl, when we lived in New York, whenever I would go darker, she would use like a protect gel just to avoid staining the skin. I do remember that. I'm going to get some on my ears, make sure I protect the ears from color. I'm also going to do the nape of the neck. I think we're good. I think we're good. This is what the hair looks like, how I divided it. Probably looks really crazy right now. Next step, I'm going to take the color, rich cream, open it up, pop this open using the up cap side. Open the developer bottle and we're going to squeeze all of the color into the activator bottle here. That was a good piece of hair. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Squeezed all of that out into the activator bottle. Got some all over the hands. We're going to put the cap back on and we are going to shake vigorously until fully combined. See, there's this, that one piece of hair that just keeps lingering, but I'd say it's pretty, pretty well mixed. Put on the gloves, work one quadrant at a time, starting from the back, applying color in small sections using the tip applicator. Be sure to saturate your hair from roots to ends. Massage through for even application. into the scalp, clip it up, clean up, and let it develop for 35 minutes. And I'm gonna do my tape and extensions as well. That way my hair matches the tape and extensions perfectly. I'm gonna wash it out after 35 minutes and then pop back on here when it's time to like style the hair and it's all washed out. Mm -hmm.
like feeling it out. So I can do a thorough review on that. I have one off Amazon, a different hot tool that I did a review on, the IG Inglam. So maybe I'll compare the two because they're kind of similar, especially in price range compared to the Dyson. Here is the end result. This is the color Latte. Well, I personally do like it. It's kind of what I was expecting. Hair feels really soft. doesn't feel like hay or anything. And I also dyed the extensions. And I'm probably going to pop those in, but that'll be for like a different video. But today I just wanted to share my review of coloring my own hair at home. And I feel like it was a pretty good success. Nothing went wrong. I'm not seeing any like spots that I missed. I'd say it's pretty uniform. I was worried maybe it would be like a little bit splotchy somewhere. Maybe I didn't saturate it enough. And I left it in for 35 minutes, the recommended time. And I would say the color is true to what they said it would be. I feel like it was a pretty good kit, especially considering the price. I had everything very easy to use, very simple, very user friendly. I didn't have any issues with it and I'm pretty happy with it. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in future videos.